So, do you like refurbishing furniture, upcycling old wood furniture? What would you do with an old sewing cabinet that had no machine? I've been all over Pinterest. I've even talked to old friends who had ideas and I've decided to make it sewing cabinet turn desk transformation. Hey there, sweet friends. It's Cynthia Nessel from Create with Cynthia and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm working on a new project that is a sewing cabinet turn desk. My boys needed a desk for our new home and so the sewing cabinet was something I had planned to do months prior and but but just got busy with other things and never was able to work on it. So here I am finally working on it. I'm putting a coat of Dixie Bell Boss. I'll put the link below. I don't sell this product, but you can buy it online. It's a stain blocker. So as you can see from the sewing cabinet, and I'm sure you can imagine, this cabinet is very old and the wood is made with a lot of dark stains and tannins in it that I know are gonna come and seep through. And as you know, because you've heard me before, I don't like bleed through and I don't like shellac. Shellac is really stinky. It's a product from made by Zinzer and you can spray or paint it on and it's really smelly and I don't like using it, especially not in the house. So I thought I would try out Boss by Dixie Belle and see what the difference was. The smell is okay. It's not great. It's not like DIY paint or a Maker Studio paint, but it's not as bad as shellac. So it's kind of a milky, creamy consistency, and the the the, the directions on here say to apply one to two coats to test out some areas, and that's what I'm doing. So as you can see, way over here, I actually put a coat of the boss on, then I painted it with some crinoline, and then I waited a little while and I noticed the bleed through was happening. So now I'm coming back with my second coat of boss, and this time I'm putting it on really thick. So as you can see, there's a milky, it looks milky. That's how thick I'm applying it. The other thing that's happening is I'm noticing a lot of the, the, the waxes and the tannins are already pulling. Hi, Oreo. That's my puppy barking at the dog. But they are already pulling out. So thick coat of boss, probably two, is what's gonna be needed on this sewing cabinet. Sewing cabinet turn desk. So what I did a couple of months ago was I, I took the guts of the sewing machine. This cabinet was given to me and it was, um, it never had a sewing machine in it. It just had some of the, the, the metal parts that kind of pulled the sewing machine up and so what I did is I had my handyman take out all the metal parts and then we added this piece of plywood here. And that is so that you have a flat surface when you're working at your desk. There's some nice drawers that open up that I'm really happy about. Okay friends, so what I've done is I've used my mud, Dixie Belle mud in the color of white. It comes in a couple different colors. And I just filled in the crevices around the plywood. So um, when we cut the plywood to fit into the sewing cabinet so that we could have a level surface, there was a little bit of creaks around the edges. Um, and so I used the mud. 
I'm gonna paint this whole sewing cabinet a white creamy color so it doesn't really matter the way it looks at this moment. You know, if you watch my video, the buffet makeover that JRV approved, that's Jamie Ray Vintage. She approved my buffet, so I sealed it. If you watch that video, I tell you about my hair and that I don't like getting in paint. And so when I paint, I shouldn't have the hair down. I should at least wear a hat. And most likely I should even put a rubber band in it. But you know, this time I, I thought I had a date tonight. So I did my hair all nice and pretty and I squeezed in a cute, quick little furniture makeover. And then I thought I was gonna be out the door on the date, but the date ain't happening now. the dogs we're gonna go to the dog park while the peace dries what else you gonna do and when I come back I'm gonna put another coat on this and I'm gonna put my hair in the ponytail Oreo you want to go on a date yes you want to go on a date with mama oh good okay let's tell you I'm a little stumped because I got a lot of lead through and I've got like three coats of the boss and I don't want to do any more so I'm thinking I might just have to go dark. So, that's it. The sewing cabinet turned desk transformation turned out exactly how I had hoped. I painted it all in crinoline and was a little disappointed that the bleed through continued to come even after three coats of Dixie Belle Boss. So I decided to take it up a notch and go with a little bit darker of a color. Sandy Blonde from DIY Paint is one of my favorites and so I dry brushed the Sandy Blonde on to the piece using my blending brush that was dry and only a small amount of paint and going in even strokes on the whole piece. I also use the insider around the drawers and the knobs. And the final coat after one of the Sandy Blonde was Big Top. It's a sealer. It's great for pieces of furniture that are going to get a lot of use. I put about three coats of the Big Top all over the piece. And I'm just super happy with how it turned out.